Hi everybody, this is Zaylee. I hope you like this video, how to achieve this look with the Tardiest Pro Palette. Um, so let's get started. Um, I look all jacked up. I'm going to start to prime and prep with Earth Oil from Painted Earth. This is great, lightweight, doesn't let you break out or anything. I love it. So now I am using the Tarte CC in Light. It's a color correcting clay primer. And I am priming with this. This is great. It cancels out all the redness. And it leaves a great base to start with your foundation. I totally recommend this. I do put it on over my face and I kind of overdo it and then I also put it on my eyelids as a eye primer because at the moment I don't have an eye primer. Brush like this. And I am going to go to classic on the first top and I'm going to go all over the lids with this. Actually all all the way up to your eyebrow. Just a base color so we could work with everything else and everything blends perfect. Okay, you can hardly see that, but it's gonna look nice. And then I'm gonna go to cheek over three down and the first one and I am going to do that all over my lid again I'm going to work from lightest to darkest so I don't have to be changing brush just um, this one and a blending brush make it easy on me to something that will look nice fast and get going so I'm building this color I'm building it great and then I have Let's do all these four colors. Let's see something red. Mm. And then we're going to go to Profesh. And then we're going to grab a little bit of it. And we're going to go to Top Crease right there. Just really soft. And then again. Really soft. And then again. Going on to it. really soft on the crease. Blend it. All right. Then again, start building that color at the end of it. Great. And then blend it inwards towards your inner eye. Blend it inwards towards your inner eye. Then we're going to get on the top, it says no filter. I'm going to grab that. And then at the end, we're going to flip it. A little bit more and blend, blend up. Give a little bit more and blend up. Okay. 
And then I'm going to grab some drama and I'm going to change my brush actually to this blending uh, MAC, 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 286. If you can see it, if you see it, if you don't, I'm sorry. And I'm going to go back to no filter actually and grab a little bit more onto the the end of the crease. Wipe it off. Go back to Profesh. And do that there. Back to crease. Then we're going to go in to Drama, a really nice berry color and back into the end and then we're going to blend downwards and again then we're going to go to Whimsy and it's a orangey color. Love it. So we're gonna go in the middle of the inner and the eyelid. Very nice. And I'm gonna go back to this one and grab it a little bit more, pat it in there, and then blend it. And then I'm going to get Vamp with this flat little lip line also it can be used and grab Vamp and then we're going to put it at the end of this corner. Kind of like a wing. A little bit. But then we're going to blend. Wipe that off and back to our blending brush, wipe it off and blend upwards. Soft, blending upwards towards your eyebrow. And then we're going to grab mm, back to cheek, do the eyebrow, blah, blah, blah. and again to cheek, and blend this end, blend this all. Don't worry about the mess, you're going to put foundation on real soon. Messy. This is why I do my eyeshadow first because some fallout, you never know. And then again into Whimsy and darken that orangey color. And darken this color. And back to classic and put that in the inner eye of the lid make that pop fantabulous fantabulous let's go into this the flat brush again and go back into profesh just a little bit. And some depth. Get the blending. We're gonna spray it. 
stamp it and foil minxy minx this is a very nice metallic red color and we are gonna go into the crease where we put drama and just intensify that color and make it pop pop okay grab some pop Make it pop. Make it pop. Great. Okay, swipe it off. Go back with our blending brush, grab some drama, and blend the top. Grab some cheek and blend the top. Nice. If you want to make that orange pop, make it pop a little bit more. I like it. More classic. No wiping it off because they're going to blend. All right. nice that is these are very nice eyeshadows they do have quite fallout that's what I don't like for the price that you're paying for but they're really nice and now um, let me get their highlighter Pro Glow Highlighter, and I'm going to increase that inner corner of the eye. And I am going to spray, spray the concealer, and go into Glam, the first one on top, that Illuminator Highlighter. We're going to go inner corner. And we're gonna make that pop. Pop. Let's do this. Man. That is popping. Popping, popping. And we're gonna go back to classic and blend. Because you don't want no harsh lines, do you? No harsh lines. Much, much better. Great. So, I'm going to do the other eye. 24 hour. Great, great, great. Maybe I use a little bit too much. Let's use the Morphe foundation brush. And start from the center of the face. Outwards. Down your neck because you don't want to look like a clown. And down. This foundation is my favorite of all ever, ever, ever existence i was in love with um mac pro Longwear that is bomb but it started to make me break out and i hated my life and then i met this foundation and i fell in love with it and we got married and <laughs> yeah but it's lightweight. It's, um, I would say medium coverage, but it covers very well. You don't want, I don't know, but I don't want to look all caked up, like everything caked up. If 
it is soft it is even without primer and prepping your skin it is gorgeous on your skin and I am acne prone and I don't have the nicest textured skin in the world or at all but it is great I love it and it doesn't it doesn't hurt my skin it doesn't make me break out did I say that already I think I said that already okay so I look flat and lifeless like a doll so let's um do this contouring contour let's contour your face so you look like so you look like crazy person just kidding so I'm gonna contour with the stick foundation Beverly Hills stick foundation in color shadow and here it is just now it's a little cool tone because I like to go with my powders a little warm tone and I don't want to look like I hit some tanning booth crazy looking person and then on my fat face and on my fat nose down and on my other side of my fat nose and on my forehead just right here because I have a five hand a five head and let's do the lips too. On my bottom and on the top. Mm -hmm. Now that you look all cracked out looking, we're gonna blend and blend and blend. And I will blend with this brush and it doesn't have a name because I think I bought it off Amazon for one of my first brushes ever but I love it and it's great and don't underestimate cheap brushes because they could be better than your expensive brushes and blending up on the cheeks blend 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 and on the other side. And blend, blend, blend. And on your forehead. Because my forehead is a forehead and it's weird because look at this. You guys see that little bump on my forehead? Weird. I fell, I remember it, I was like three years old and I fell down the stairs to my grandma's house and I hit my head and I had this big old ball on my forehead and that's what it ended up being. Things happen when you're a kid and then you end up with balls on your forehead. Big old horns. It sucks. But oh well, this is why we contour. Contouring saved my life. Still big ass forehead, anyway. And now we blend the bottom of my face so my cheeks don't look so big and I could keep on eating more chips and more pizza and and I could stuff my face more. And thank God for contouring because I stuff my face a lot every day. No diet for me, ever. Can't keep with my word, I just can't. I can't, okay. So that's done. You can see my face is a little bit not as flat. It's looking good, right? Looking good. So now I have the Clinique um, blended face powder and brush. Um, I don't have the brush. It's a little itchy. It's I don't know where I left it, but I'm not going to be using it today. Um, I am going to be using a MAC foundation um, brush and that is to put on my 
bake. This powder goes excellent with the Clinique Acne Solution Foundation. I love that foundation as well, but you do have to have like an oil base um, primer first because it dries out really quick. But I love this powder. I also have a question for you guys. Do you guys recommend the RCMA translucent powder or um, the banana powder? Let me know. I will try and get it and make a review and see how I like it and see if it makes me break out or anything. Let me know. So here I'm using the Smashbox Contour Kit to go and I am using the cooler tone and after the warmer tone and I use it around my face, on the hollow of my cheekbones and my jawline so it looks like I have high points in my face. Hey everybody, so I did not notice that I stopped recording and I did the blush. I did my blush. Um, with Rebel Rose from Estee Lauder um, and I did my highlight and it was both um, Gleam and Burst from the Pro Glow To Go kit and I set my makeup with the Slay All Day Gerard Cosmetics um, and my lip color is Autumn from Lorac Pro, uh, I hope you like this look. I hope you could achieve this look. It's great. Also, I did not tell you guys the eyeliner I am wearing is Milani Infinite Liquid Eyeliner, up to 24 hour wear. This is great. It does stay put, it does not budge. It is the best. Um, so I can see you guys a little better. Let me put my eyes on. Um, I hope you like this video. I can't not stop saying that. Please like, subscribe. I will come back with more videos. Just request anything. I will try to get it. And I hope you like my video and my channel. And you guys have a wonderful week. Love ya.